Hi guys, uh, my, my name is Terry Garcia. I'm uh, executive director of the Sumat Muyu Foundation. We're here in the Bigal uh, River Biological Reserve. We're here with a team of uh, herpetologists and we just spent the last five days looking for snakes and frogs. We have learned so much from that expedition and really, really glad to be here. Uh, well, uh, the, the reserve is being run by the Sumac Muyu Foundation and the Pura Bida Association. Here I have a member of the association Pura Bida with me. Uh, what's your name? Como te llamas? Nombre es Chila. My name is Luis Chila. I'm going to ask you, Luis, uh, why, why are you preserving this area? ¿Por qué quiere conservar este, esta zona aquí? Conservar para, <coughs> conservar para algo que nos dé nuestra vida, mantención, alguna cosa. Mm -hmm. So he, he wants to preserve the, the area uh, for, for future uh, generation and for, for his kids and, uh, and the whole community around here. Uh, Chila, uh, how long have you been having the idea of preserving the place. Hace cuánto tiempo que están con la idea de de querer conservar esa esa zona. Yo del tiempo del tiempo que tengo el terreno yo que que lideramos ya tengo más de unos 17 años. Okay. Que tenía yo. Okay. They they've been having the place for about 17 years and uh, so always with the idea that they would they would at some point uh, conserve uh, the place, so we we here to to help them and support them as much as we can in order to to keep this place, you know, as pristine as it is. But yeah, he said he, he learned, you know, about how to handle the snakes. I mean, how, how you guys showed him how to handle the snakes and walking at night as well. That's something he had never done before. Right, well, he. We're here at uh, Rio Vigal Biological Reserve and uh, we're working on the reptiles and amphibians and trying to find out what type of diversity there is. Uh, I'm here holding a Microris lemniscatus and this is uh, one of the coral snakes and uh, quite deadly but also often um, quite docile or usually they're just trying to get away from you if you're handling them like this and we're trying to get a few photographs of them for the record. And um, this is one of 14 snake species we found in the past uh, four days, four nights actually, uh, which is uh, quite incredible diversity. And we've also found some uh, eight species of lizard and between 10 to 20 species of frog. And we actually don't know how many species of frog we've, we've found because most of them are unidentified. Well, um, I'm holding a potentially really dangerous coral snake here and uh, we always take the utmost caution to make sure that we don't get bit and also for the safety of the animal itself. And uh, this means using hooks, tongs, and so forth. And we uh, never handle these by hand uh, because there's really no need to. There's no re need, need to show off or anything like that we can get what we need with these tools. And so I'm going to show a uh, proper bagging technique. And what you can do is put a stick or some other object elevated like that, and we usually use a pillowcase. Hold it open a little bit. You can do this with two sticks if need be, but this bag is cooperating very nicely, as is the snake. So we've just worn them out making a lot of photos. So drop them in there like that. Lift up. Make sure that the snake is indeed in the bottom. We can shake it down to make sure. 
And if we know it's at the bottom, we can take a stick like that, pull that over. And so now we're assured that the snake is not in a position to bite us. Wrap that up. And tie it in a knot. And there we go. And then the other important thing is when you open a bag, always make sure that you know what's in it before you put your hand in there. I'm uh, here holding a Lemniscatus um, ship. A river biological... <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I want to say? <laughs> what, what did you say? Can you repeat that? What? <laughs>